Hi everyone, I'm Tiny Glenn. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about grief. Hi everyone, I'm Tanya Glenn, back with Monica Quinn from my practice, and today we're going to talk to you guys about grief. So a lot of you know a lot about grief. I know a lot of you have obviously experienced grief, and I guess the biggest thing we want to do is normalize the process and talk about how you actually get through it. So what happens with grief is um, initially, especially if there's like a sudden traumatic loss, what happens is people go into sort of a state of sort of shock and numbing. And honestly, that is, that is kind of your God's given gift to your self-preservation. It actually prohibits you from feeling everything that's coming on. And if, if that happened to us, honestly, we, we could not get through that well. We would, we would have psychotic breaks if we felt it all at once. And then there's things like bargaining and denial, which we all kind of have to work through. We want to, we want to ask God to just give us one more chance to, to see them or just to bring them back or to change an outcome. We, we throw up those denial barriers of just absolutely just denying what's happened. And then as we move through that, a lot of times we hit depression and anger. So anger is a really important part of grief. I think this is the part where people just get really uncomfortable because they think that they shouldn't be angry because they're not the person who died or they're not, you know, they're not in, involved directly in maybe what's happened, but it does happen, right? And anger is just a normal process that leads us uh, honestly to that depression phase where we're just so sad and just felt so full of sorrow, which is by far the hardest part of grief is managing just that absolute despair. And then as you start to heal and you start to move through it, you begin to move on with your life. Now, the thing about this is everybody wants that outcome, but the key is, is that you have to grieve properly. So I'm going to toss it to Monica to talk about how you do that. So it's really important with grief is you have to walk through it. You have to experience, you have to feel the pain. You can't go over it, around it, under it. You have to go through it. It'll just sit there and wait for you and it'll catch up with you at a moment you're not ready to deal with it. So just make sure when you're going through a grieving situation that you tackle it straight on, go right through it. So the biggest thing about the first responder and military populations is um, we're all type A's. I am one too. And what we tend to do is we want to think our way through our grief and we don't want to feel it, right? And that feeling is, is kind of uncomfortable. So um, what I have learned in my life is that, like Monica said, you lean into it and you let it out, right? That means you let it out. I will tell you that tears are full of toxins. It is poison leaving the body. There is a purpose and a function behind crying, and that is to work through those difficult emotions. This is not weakness. This is called being a normal human being. So if you are struggling with grief, find someone who can you can talk to and who can help you through that grief. Know that it's normal. Take the time you need to grieve. And I will tell you, the more you can lean into it and the more you can, you can sort of embrace that suck, the more you're going to start to feel better. The final thing I want to say is when you do experience these emotions and you let it out, I promise you, you will not be in bed for days. It comes on kind of like a wave and the, initially the waves are really hard. They hit you really hard and it just kind of comes out. But what you're going to notice is that it comes out and then you feel a little bit better. Right? And there's another wave coming and the waves keep coming. But when you let it out, what happens is you start to feel better. And it's just, we're talking minutes. We're not talking about hours and days, right? But give yourself the time to, to grieve properly. And there's, there's a lot of good books on grief. And if you want to, if you want to read about grief, you can. But the biggest thing is don't try to think your way through it because, because it'll be waiting for you. And the longer you put it off, the longer it's just going to wait for you. So please, you guys get help if you need it and reach out to us if you have any questions. You guys, thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.